Uh, well, Nick, let's start with Saturday's Daily Mail. Another story also featured in the Mirror. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, the Mail's got fan fury as Qatar Royals ban beer. The Mirror's gone with a slightly more fun variant. They think it's all sober. Quite clever there, Mark. Bit of I a think pun. it's headline of the day. It is. Yeah, it's... It, it's uh, it... You write it. Thank you. Uh, I didn't, Mark, but I, I appreciate it because it's the kind of thing I would come up with. But, um, yeah, it's about the uh, the ban on beer. And all you can get is Bud Zero, which is, like, even worse than normal Budweiser because it, it still tastes bad, but it has no alcohol either. Isn't Bud Zero stronger than regular Bud? Yeah, I think so, a little bit. It's but terrible tap water is stronger, isn't it? <laughs> and um, or, or you can go in the... Or the only other place you'll be able to drink is the uh, official uh, fan festival centre in Doha where you'll be able to get a, a Bud at £12 for less than a pint. And so... And what people are really annoyed about is the U-turn. It's not just the not drinking. It's that they said you'd be able to drink in the stadiums. Now, 48 hours before kickoff, you suddenly can't. And so, obviously, people are going mad because, especially English people, because we like to drink. That's our football culture. And again, it's another tension of the Qatar World Cup. It's like, should you be allowed to, you know, bring your own culture, or do we have to follow? The Qatari rules, and in this case, we're going to have to follow their rules. It looks like it was very similar, in a way, to that thing with the Danish film crew. Did you see that, where they yes. were trying to film, then mm -hmm. people came up to them and said, you can't film, we're going to smash your camera. So it's, so it's like, and they said, well, look, you've invited the world here, you know, which, which is it? So it's another one of these tensions. Although they do have a sex ban, which we'll get onto later, which I'm, I'm more in approval of, because it's, you're not allowed to have sex unless you're married in Qatar during the World Cup, but we can get onto that later. Yes, uh, attacking Western journalists, banning booze, banning sex as well, apparently. Uh, the, the, the Qatari regime are having trouble with the rebrand, aren't they, Anthony? I do, but I, th I think it's a bit of a storm in the teacup, really, because you're talking about a football match. You've gone there to watch football. That's what you should be focusing on. Speak for yourself, Anthony. OK. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm a season I'm ticket here at White Hart Lane. Right? You? Well, yeah. for, the, yeah. for the today, I'm going to speak for the whole nation. Um, you know, you go there to watch the football, it's 90 minutes. You're telling me that you can't find your way around enjoying the football and then drink somewhere else, you know, if, if you have to when you're back at the hotel or in some... England fans, do you think they can do that? I, I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't, when you said storm in a teacup, was that a pun on, on teetotal? Absolutely, it's yeah, a storm in a, drop that in there. Storm in a bud zero. Yeah, that would do it. They did also point out, um, like, further down in that article, because they were complaining just generally about the concessions. So um, I think, you know, like a, a, a Greek salad was going to be £9. Yeah. They were saying that, that it was a terrible-looking salad. So they were just going through all of the provisions. And I couldn't help thinking, you know, with everything that's going on in the world, um, you know, people dying in order to build these stadia, mm. and what we've got here is a, a TripAdvisor sort of preview of the, of the terrible provisions in the... In you the could argue stadium. that if, since we've been through so much to get the World Cup, they could at least do it right. That would be the flip side of that argument. Yeah. But yes, I'm also very much against the uh, yeah. stadium deaths. I thought the nachos were value at £4.60, though. I mean, that's... Bargain. Can't really complain. Yeah. After a couple of uh, Bud Zeros, that <laughs> yeah. really hits the spot.